putting a stop to confusion, mastering the phrase, put a stop to. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's English learning video. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning and usage of a very common English phrase, put a stop to. This phrase is widely used in both spoken and written English, and understanding it can greatly enhance your language skills. Let's dive in. Put a stop to is an idiomatic expression that means to cause something to end or to prevent something from continuing. It's often used when talking about stopping negative or unwanted actions or behaviors. For example, if a city puts a stop to littering, it means they are taking measures to end the problem of littering. Let's look at some examples to understand how to use this phrase in sentences. The new law is designed to put a stop to illegal parking in the city. As a teacher, I had to put a stop to the bullying happening in my classroom. The community worked together to put a stop to the spread of misinformation. These examples show how the phrase can be applied in different contexts, emphasizing its versatility. While put a stop to is a clear and effective way to express this idea, there are other phrases and synonyms you can use. These include, halt, the government halted the construction project. And, she ended the debate with her compelling argument. Terminate, the contract was terminated due to non-compliance. Understanding these variations can enrich your vocabulary and speaking skills. A common mistake learners make is using, put a stop to, in the wrong context. Remember, it's most appropriate for actions or behaviors, not for stopping inanimate objects. For instance, saying, I put a stop to the clock, is incorrect. Instead, you would say, I stopped the clock. That's all for our lesson on, put a stop to. I hope this video has helped clarify this phrase and its usage for you. Remember, practicing these phrases in your daily conversations will help you master them. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.